in my previous video we discussed how to design this book cover in photoshop in this video we're going to look at how to mock it up how to present it to clients also in photoshop and this is coming up <laughs> hello everybody and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so i've made quite a couple of tutorials on mockups including the local mockup and then the t-shirt mockup so this is going to be another series on book mockup or book cover mockup all right so first things first what you need to do is you need to download a mock-up for yourself and i'll be leaving some links in the description if you want to download some free mock-ups now we have a couple of mock-ups we're going to try to make use of most of them here but not all of them so unlike the other mock-ups like a logo mock-up or a t-shirt mock-up where it has mostly one side except of course like t-shirt mock-up where it has back and front books mostly have three sections the front the back and then the spine so we are going to actually make use of some of these things that has the front only the front the front and spine and then the front and then the back and of course the first thing you need to do is you need to finish your design so this is the design that we did in the previous video. if you've not seen that a link will be in the description to check that out so the first thing you need to do is you can either save this as a jpeg and then import it later into photoshop and then make use of it or you can basically make use of the shortcut ctrl plus shift plus alt and then e and then it is going to merge all your visible layers for you right on top so if we group all of these ones for instance like this you see that we have a full jpeg or a full layer separately on and that is what we are going to cut to fill the mockups so let's go back to the first sample here and that is going to be the close that is the the front only so anytime you download your mockup it is either going to be in a zip file for you like this so if it is in a zip file you're going to extract it and once you extract it to the location that you want you're going to have something like this so let's go ahead and open the first one all right so this is a very nice mockup from mockupsdesign.com link will be in the description so it has already been layered for you so all that you need to do is you navigate to the mockup section over here and then you are going to find what it says the book cover that is going to be the actual cover and so we have the front here and that this is also going to be the edge so we are going to do it separately so let's first consider the book cover so let's double click on the smart object thumbnail over here it is going to open another document for us all right so this is where we are going to basically replace our cover with so we go back to our main cover or what we designed and if you already merged your cover all that you need to do is you can go for the rectangular marquee tool and then you can make a selection so you can make a selection up to this side and then you're going to either copy or cut it so ctrl j to copy it and then we are going to drag it onto the book cover right over here so you can press ctrl a to center it both horizontally and and then you realize that the mock-up size that was used for this one is quite bigger than our cover size so you can press ctrl t to transform it like that so something like this and then you make sure that the edges feels very nicely like that and once you're done you can just close this up and when it says save changes you're going to save the changes so once you go into the closed left mockup this is what you have isn't this just amazing now let's try with the spine or the edge so this is going to be the spine and then we are going to double click on that as well and we are going inside of our mock-up so this time we have the front and then we come back to the main one that we've already grouped and then we are going to pick our rectangular marquee tool and we're going to select the spine here you just have to take your time ctrl j to duplicate that and then we can drag it to the edge of the book now this time it's also small so we're going to open it up a little bit like this sometimes if it's still not working for you once you bring it in like this you can just go ahead and add something like a solid color and then pick the exact same color that you use or something like this and then you realize that it will just feel but we just copied more than 
necessary so we're just going to pick the rectangular marquee tool again and then we are going to cut the very edge of this one and then it will be replaced with the background so control a and then we are going to center it both horizontally and vertically and then we are going to save that as well and once we get back to the close psd this is what we have so that is basically going to be it for the front only and gladly you can change the background to any background that you want so you can double click on the background color over here and pick any background at all that you want a background that is going to look good for your mock-up now let's try with something with a front and back or double okay so for this side we also have this booklet or they are from the same mockupsdesign.com if you want to download them and it basically follows the same procedure you just have to locate the mockup this is going to be the mockup the rest is basically the other things that has been added to it so once you open the mockup you see that for this side you are going to have the first section that is the front the spine or the edge and then the back so we are going to open just like we did for the other one we are just going to open the first one the front cover and then we are going to copy our front over here onto it now we go ahead and then we are going to save this we do the same thing for the background but you realize that we've not copied the background yet so let's go back to this one so you see how it shows here and let's go back to the background right over there and then we are going to cut our background so we go to this layer make sure that always you are on this layer because if you try to cut from this particular front layer it is not going to because as it stands now there are three separate layers so we choose this one and then we are going to make a selection right like that and then we are going to copy that and send it onto our cover so we take time to reposition that as well and once you're good you just go ahead and then you save that as well and then you do the last thing for so let's see how it actually looks like now great and you do the last thing for the spine or the edge so that we've already copied it so let's go and select the spine here i hope this is not confusing and then you try to bring it right over there like that we're going to select the rectangular marquee too and then we're going to get rid of this side and then we add a solid color so let's add it underneath of it so we add a solid color and select our color and then we can position this in the middle so once we're done with that we just go ahead and we save this as well and this is what we have and just like that you're going to select the background also and then you're going to give it a background that looks good for this one so let's try to come here i think this looks okay okay let me just go and pick this one let me know in the comment section which one looks better between this and that which one do you like the best and there are a lot of the mockups that you can use there are standing ones there are obviously ones with wooden backgrounds there are so many of them so check the link in the description to find out which one works better for you and once you're done with this you can basically save it as a jpeg and then you can upload it or send it to your clients you see the quality here it's very very high in quality so if you post this on your social media on your instagram facebook page it really catches up the attention of potential clients so yes you can use mockups to present your works or your flat surface designs to your clients as to how it is actually going to look like when they have it in real time all right so basically that'll be it for this video i hope you gained value out of this if you did a subscribe to the channel will be very much acknowledged thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video and i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye